hot milk on my wee specs. Somebody's going to complain about that. Somebody's going to complain about how I make tea because I put the milk in the tea bag. Um, great opportunity this morning. Uh, it's, it's, I've been speaking to Glenn Humphreys there down in Cornwall. Glenn's going to go out before he goes to work. He's got a deal. He's got 700 lambs that are coming through. And I've had the fortune of talking to Mark Gregory, the world's number one landscaper this morning. And uh, Mark is doing some work for RHS Wisley. RHS Wisley and he's working. Well, there's the stud work behind me. Now, today, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be putting the aero decking on, but before we do that, we're going to cover the, the, the under carriage, the stud work underneath with the membrane with limestone chippings, and that will keep the membrane in place and just make sure that the weeds don't come through. And we'll be over there. When you put the gravel down like this, the ground generally warms up during the summer months, and even the winter sometimes the, um, the ground can get warm in areas where the water's coming through. So pause that stuff again. Here we are. We've got the gravel mulch in now, and uh, what that's actually doing is that the gravel mulch, mulch is suppressing the weed suppressant membrane, and that will ensure that it's nice and dark, the, the weeds aren't going to come up. But there is evidence to, to suggest that what the gravel actually does, it reduces condensation level because basically all those small stones, the condensation can come around the stone as opposed to on the surface and coming up underneath the decking, causing, mi mi causing mildew and damp. And that's what you don't want. Though the timber has been treated and tantalized, you've still got to reduce that as much as you can. Now we've put the gravel in, we've made sure also that the, the stud work hasn't risen up because we're going over it with a wheelbarrow. It's all in place, it's all solid. Now's the time for the Euro deck installation. We're going to put that at a diagonal. Well, what we've got here, we've got the, the fascia on both sides, and then we've got the trimmer, like, the, like an architrave, basically, that's going to frame the decking that's going to go at a 45. If you come close to the air collar to show our viewers, if you, if you view down, okay, well, what we have here is I am not going to put a 45 mitre on here. I'm not going to do the 45 because I just feel that becomes too thin and there's a likelihood that it can actually bend. If it's a little bit thicker, it's going to maintain its integrity. So that's going to fit in there like that, okay? That's the look that we're going to have. I've cut these at a, at a 90 degree again, not a 45, because I think it just looks better, okay? There's going to be uh, a lot of cuts out of 45 in the decked area anyway. Where you look at these, where there's a little chip or where the, where the, the decking is rubbed during transit with a Rubio monocoat, which is on the surface of here, uh, it's like a cream, so we'll go over that and you just won't see any of that at all. So that's the look that we're going for.
Well, there we are. This is what it's looking like. Get a little bit closer, you can have a look. We haven't walked on that at all. But not bad, is it? I think it's pretty good. How's it going? Oh, very shy. Very shy. He's a handsome man though, look at that. Well, there it is, this small decked area, three metres by three metres. The contrasting edge and uh, the boards laid at a diagonal. And uh, it's doing what it's supposed to do, and it's to repel the water. A very unique decking system.